Would I be a good candidate for blepharoplasty? I have had two consultations, and I was told two different things. I don't like the puffy dark bags or the wrinkles under my eyes. Or would all therapy help? Please, any suggestions? Thank you for your question. You're asking if you are a good candidate for blepharoplasty, and you've submitted a couple of nice photos. Um, it's uh, you describing your question that you've had two consultations and you have had two different recommendations, and then you're asking about all therapy by name in your question. So I understand why you are confused, um, and you're, you're you're submitting for your question for more um, understanding. To give you a little bit of background, I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon. I'm also board certified in general cosmetic surgery by the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery. That uh, are my, my areas of specialization include uh, cosmetic and advanced eyelid, uh, eyelid surgery. So this is an area that I can give you a lot of opinion on based on over 20 years of, of real life practice experience. So, Let's define from the beginning what the issues are from anatomy. You don't like the puffy under eye areas, you don't like the wrinkles. So what are the, what's the anatomical basis? Number one, the puffy bags are due to something called lower eyelid fat prolapse. Lower eyelid fat prolapse essentially means that the fat pockets that are normally around your eyes push forward and create bulges. And that's why, regardless of how much you sleep, or or variations in salt intake, allergy medications, etc., there's still a certain amount of puffiness that's always there. So this is a physical volume of fat. Second, you what's the why, what's causing the wrinkles? Well, wrinkles under the eyes, which is a, so the eyelid skin, is only half a millimeter in thickness. You can think of wrinkles as due to a structural loss. Um, of collagen within the skin. So you can imagine that the half a millimeter skin, that amount of collagen lost is going to be a challenge. It's very important to understand, to distinguish the difference between skin quantity versus skin quality. As a specialist in cosmetic and reconstructive eyelid surgery, one of the areas that I see patients for from all over the world are people who have had lower eyelid retraction from procedures which were meant to improve wrinkles. And what goes awry? Well, a lot of things. Whether it's non-surgical solutions, such as the use of lasers, um, where the skin contracts and causes the eyelid to evert and cause something called ectropion, or from surgical solutions where skin is removed and the eyelid is retracted downward. It's referred to as eyelid retraction. So from, from my perspective, and as someone who does a lot of eyelid surgery, my approach to someone like yourself would be, and with the absence of a physical exam to assess all of the support and other complexities of the lower eyelid, my, my approach would be to do something like a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. That means working on the fat pockets from behind the eyelid. And this means that we reduce uh, sculpt or reposition as is appropriate uh, based on physical exam. And do something called fractional CO2 laser for the under eye wrinkles. And in addition to that, use a regenerative medicine technology called platelet-rich plasma. This is derived from your own blood and is applied under the skin to help improve skin quality. Now this means that we are trying to maintain the integrity and shape of the eye as well as address the wrinkles. And this has been a very successful approach in my practice. In the modern world, there is a lot of promotion of non-surgical solutions for surgical problems, as well as this natural symbiosis between the companies that sell these non-surgical solutions, 
the doctors who promote these non-surgical solutions and of course patients looking for a non-surgical approach. This brings us to the question of whether or not alt therapy would work for you. Now I'm not, I don't provide alt therapy in my practice. I have to say I don't believe in its efficacy. Um, I know I get a lot of patients who come to me from uh, everywhere who have tried alt therapy and not necessarily alt therapy itself but also the class of non-surgical solutions that are thermal devices. At the current time, alt therapy, um, the popularity of this uh, has reminded me of a few years ago when the, the, uh, the end-all treatment was going to be thermage. And so I don't have any specific gripe against this, uh, one particular brand, but I do have to say that the there is clearly a lot of a big gap in the expectations people have and the results they're getting with these thermal energy devices. The reason why as surgeons we all still dress this way and do surgery every day to help people is that unfortunately the non-surgical solutions are just not meeting the expectations of a growing number of people who are looking for solutions. And as a surgeon, my practice has all of these um, other non-surgical modalities which do work. This includes laser, this includes IPL. We have radiofrequency technology called Pelave. So I'm not against radiofrequency technology, but I, I, I feel I know um, because I work both above the skin and under the skin what the limitations are. So I think that with, from, from this perspective, I hope that you have a better understanding of how I would treat um, a patient like you, a person like yourself. And I think a lot of doctors share, a lot of surgeons in particular, would share um, that perspective. We, as surgeons, we also all do things a little bit differently, and that's why you get a, a more than one different recommendation. Uh, we all want to get to the same place, but we may do it in different ways. And also, it's about the aesthetics of the individual surgeon. So you have to meet with doctors and see who you resonate with. I think that in a personality and style is very important in establishing trust and understanding based on before and after pictures what looks like a type of style that resonates with you, for you. Um, in, in New York City and Long Island we have doctors who believe in very exaggerated results and they, and they find patients who share that same opinion. Uh, my style is more about natural and restoring as close to a more young appearance but without looking like you had surgery. That's my personal style. So find a doctor that resonates with your personal style and uh, hopefully this information will be of benefit to you. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question. Mm -hmm.